First ride, I'm a little nervous, but excited. In a year of blunders, the Peloton bike ad claims top spot. The ad portrayed a woman who seemingly reluctantly received a stationary bike for Christmas. Peloton's bottom line took a major hit. The company is peddling negative body image and sexism. It was even fodder for comedians who relentlessly mocked the ad. Six days in a row. Are you surprised? I am, but my marriage is still intact. <laughs> Peloton bikes sell for 2,500 bucks a pop. The company said our holiday spot was created to celebrate that fitness and wellness journey. Well, we're disappointed in how some have misinterpreted this commercial. But the damage was already done. The stock plummeted after the ad was released. Peloton lost an astounding $1.2 billion in value in a single day of trading. Elon Musk and Tesla branched out this year, adding to their line of electric vehicles. So I present to you the Cybertruck. The Cybertruck was marketed as something bigger and stronger and tougher than its competitors. So much so that Musk had someone throw a steel ball at the windows to show they cannot break. Sure? Yeah. The question is largely around how these gaffes impact the way people think about a company. <laughs> Business professor Marvin Ryder says you spend years building up trust in a brand or a company. And then one day you learn something about them that seems so out of character, it's lost in a heartbeat. It could take nearly 20 years to get it back, and that's if you don't make any more errors. Tesla and Peloton, of course, are not alone. Facebook announced a digital currency. A company famous for exploiting and selling your data now wants you to trust it with your money. Tim Hortons came under fire for re-engineering the lids of their coffee cups, therein wrecking a morning double-double for an already frustrated nation. Kim Kardashian took on the Spanx brand of shapewear, calling her new line Kimono prompting charges of cultural appropriation. You surprised? But one company's gaffe is another's opportunity. Just as the Peloton ad was going viral, Aviation Gin was scrambling to take advantage. To new beginnings. To new beginnings. Within two days, they had found and hired the Peloton actress, wrote and shot a spoof of the ad, and piggybacked all that outrage to piles of free publicity. Peter Armstrong, CBC News, Toronto.